Marshmallows are very delicious. Uh, sorry, Strawberry, but I'm really on a roll over here. Almost halfway done with my step-by-step -step how to set up a tent segment of my instructional video. Well, I just have to say, Orange, Cherry, and Plum, those were some great stories you told. Oh, yes, wonderful. Eh, I wouldn't say that. Oh? Well, why not, Sour? Oh, nothing, really. Just that. Well, my sister Sweet and I have a much better tale to tell. We do? Don't you remember? Remember what? Our way more awesome, incredibly dangerous, and gigantically exciting adventure than they had story? Let's hear it! Ooh! Can't wait! Do tell! Wait a minute. Shouldn't we write something out first? And, you know, maybe practice? Nah, just relax. Make it up as you go along. Like you're cooking. I do not make up my cooking as I go along. I follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, I've noticed. A real chef <gasps> knows how to improvise. Did I hear someone say something about topping our stories? <laughs> 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 you did indeed. Take it. Huh? <laughs> well, once upon a time, a long, long time ago, um, there were two little girls named Sweet and Sour, and they... <gasps> Can you give it just a little more punch? Punch? You know, sock. Uh... Zip, sizzle, pizzazz. Ah, uh, here, watch. What my sister meant to say was, this is the story of something that happened to us a long time ago. But not long enough. It's burned everlastingly into our memory. It is? I mean, it was? Help me out here, will you, sweet? Yes. Yes, it was. I mean, is. Ever last, last, ever... What she said. Ah, it makes me tremble to think of that night. That dark, dangerous night in very deep, dark forest. night was just a job like any other night. Full of risk. Full of danger. But someone had to do it. And that someone was... me. There wasn't a moment to lose. We were on a mission of mercy. An expedition of the Berrykin Exploration Society was stranded in the very deep dark forest. Without the food supplies in our truck, they'd have to go to bed without dinner. And that was something we had vowed would not happen. Uh, excuse me? Question? Oh, uh, no big deal, but you keep saying we, so I was just kind of wondering. Where was Sweet? Uh, me? Well, I was... Asleep. Asleep? Off in Dreamland. Out like a light. So, while Sweet snoozed, I raced us down the road on our mission of... Excuse me. <sighs> Question? 
Just asking, just asking. But, uh, with all that bouncing and noise, how could she sleep? She'd just eaten a very heavy meal, okay? Why, yes, a very heavy meal. That's right. So I... It started with a watercress salad tossed with a rich raspberry vinaigrette dressing topped with a sprinkling of crispy croutons. I... Next came a savory noodle soup with lentils, peas, celery, and carrots gently simmered in a broth of... Sweet! Where were we? Oh, yeah, on a mission of mercy. Everything was going simply swell until all of a sudden... It wasn't. We were stuck in the mud. Ugh. We weren't stuck, we were sinking, and this wasn't mud. It was a bottomless pit of very, very quicksand. There was only one thing to do. was over, but only for the moment. It would not be over over until I got the truck out of there. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> but even with my magnificently muscle tone strength, it wouldn't budge. a serious problem, and then I had it! I would go for help! <gasps> Uh-oh, I'd have to go for help fast! If the vine broke, the truck would sink, and the Berrykins would go to bed without any dinner! Oh yeah, and I'd never see my sister again. And so, I set off alone. One girl against the wilderness. Uh, excuse me. Question. Why didn't you just wake her up? Yeah, why not wake me up? Are you kidding? Do you know what you're like when someone interrupts your nap time? You are bad news. Mm-mm, no thank you. Uh-uh. I am not. Are two. Am not. Two. Not. Huh? When? Now, uh, where was I? Going off against the wilderness. Ah, yes. There I was. One girl against the wilderness. One girl deep in the dense, daunting darkness. And did I say dangerous? <gasps> so, there I was, smack in the middle of the most dangerous adventure I'd ever been on. And I've been on plenty. An avalanche in the very big mountains? Pfft. Trapped aboard a sinking ship in a hurricane? Ha! This one topped them all. Jump in any time, will ya? I would, if I knew where you were going with it. Well, how am I supposed to know? This is called improv, don't you know? As I was saying, I had to get help. And fast. But where? It was a big forest. A very big forest. Hey! I'm trying to navigate! 
investigate, do you mind? Expert tracker though I was, it was no use. The stars could tell me which way was north, but if only I could see them. They say moss grows on the north side of trees. But in this forest, it grew on every side. There was no use denying it. I was absolutely, completely, totally lost! You are not the only one. And then I heard it! <gasps> <laughs> heard what? Drums. couldn't believe what I was seeing. Wild animals are lost civilizations I could buy, but <gasps> this? No way. What, what was, was it? it? Don't ask me. I'm asleep in the truck, remember? I'll tell you what it was. It was... It was... A rock band. Hear that? She's doing it again! Day after day, week after week, year after year! Why can't you keep the bait? It isn't me! It's that woodpecker! Every time I get a good beat going, he messes me up! Stick your fingers in your ears and go la la la! If you don't find the beat, we don't get the gig. You want to spend the rest of your career playing for crickets and frogs? Frogs stopped coming a month ago. Just crickets now. Oh, and that rabbit who keeps requesting row, row, row your boat. Well, this was just what I was looking for. A bunch of people who weren't doing anything important and who would be thrilled to help me save a bunch of berrykins from a fate worse than no num-nums. Oh, and save my sister from sinking in the bottomless thingy. <sighs> Aww. So, what'd you do? What anyone who was lost in the woods would do. I called for help. Um, help! Huh? <gasps> uh huh? An, An audience! audience! Hello, hello, hello! Here, Pinky and the Ponytails. She's Pinky. I'm Penny. That's Patty. Music, mirth, and merriment is our thing. So sit right down. The show starts now. Um, but I... Well, see, I'm... Is this thing on? <laughs> really good to see you here. Last concert, nobody showed up at Frogs. The gig croaked. <laughs> 
Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me with a little problem I have back there. See, I... heard better music the day I pogo stick to town with an accordion tied to my head. I was so out of there. Or so I thought. No, 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 no! Don't go! Show's just starting! We're just warming up! Here, we'll do one of our biggest requests. And a one, two, three, four! Row, row, row your boat, row, 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 row. I mean, this was getting a bit too much. I was just this far from telling the Berrykins to go gather their own grub. <laughs> just a figure of speech! And then, there was my sister. I mean, could I let her down? Hmm. Nah. Well, thanks for that, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever did you do? Well, what else? The only thing a hero can do in a case like this. I... I... Ran for my life! and the ponytails weren't going to catch me. <gasps> Not this graduate of the Berry Bitty Correspondence School of Super Heroics. We love to play the great outdoors. The other day, Patty pretended she was a tree. I said, then why don't you make like a tree and leave? Ha 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 ha! Head away, two, three, four! Run, run. How indeed, you ask? <laughs> well, I... I... I didn't do anything. Huh? huh? I didn't know what to do. <sighs> Fresh out of ideas. Then how'd you escape? She saved me. So you're the hero. Come on, tell How'd us. You do it, sweet. Well, it's sort of hard to remember. Uh, can't blame ya. It's almost a blur to me too. Well, there I was, in more misery than the day I had nothing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner but Brussels sprouts and lima beans. When all of a sudden we heard it. Hey. Who's playing that, oh yeah, great beat! It was my sister, Sweet. Woke up from her nap and was waiting for me to return. <laughs> well, Sweet's beat just beat that woodpecker all to pieces. And Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat.
just one more problem to take care of. Pinky and the Ponytails found their beat, and the Berrykins got their dinner. That's great! What a great story! Wonderful! So everything ended happily. Yeah, it was, uh... Why, yes! Pinky and the Ponytails had a hit record and, um, became mega stars, and they were so grateful that they changed their name to... Two sweets and a sour. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what a great 